Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well yesterday we built this slider um, with the Divi theme here. Very easy to do. Today if I scroll on down a little bit we're going to build this sort of little about section where I choose us with a few of these blurb modules and as I as you can see I've added a few hover effects and animations if I refresh this you'll see it animate again very easy to do with the Divi theme so let's get started let's go to our page where I've got just the slider on here and you can see we've got our global header and footer we created and the slider let's enable the visual builder and add a new section Okay, let's go down to where we want to work. We've got three little buttons there. We've got a blue one, it's for a section, a green one, which is for a row. If you hover over them, it'll tell you. And a dark gray one, which is for a new module. We want to add a new section, a regular section. I'm just going to put in a row with one column simply for a title. I'm going to put in a text module there. By default, Divi comes with all these modules included right out of the box. There's another 16 actually if you happen to have WooCommerce installed for WooCommerce products. If you're building any sort of WordPress site at all, I do suggest you check out Divi. It's absolutely awesome. If you want to take it for a test run, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's add the text module. Simply left click. And let's add a little title. I'm going to put it all in lowercase. I'm going to make it into the title. So I'm simply going to left click, drag, and select it. I'm going to go up to where it says paragraph here, hit the little drop down, same as any other WordPress drop down sort of editor. I'm going to make that a heading too. So that's popped it up in size a little bit. Okay, well let's go to our design tab and just change it out, make it look a little more interesting. If you hover over it, a little paintbrush icon appears there. That'll take you right to what you want to edit because you sometimes you don't know whether it's a heading 2, 3, 4 or 5 and it's taking us straight to it here. Let's change the font for fun. Right out of the box, Divi comes with a huge amount of, of uh, fonts to choose from. I'm going to use Roboto. In fact, I'll use Roboto Condensed. I quite like that one. Or well, Bold is the only option there. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to make it capitalized. I'm going to put it in the middle. And I'm going to use the blue color that we had going on there. That's absolutely fine. And let's bring it up in size a little bit. And we might use this title elsewhere. So if we sort of set our styles here the way we want it, we can use this titles on other sections. Okay, I think that's fine. I don't want to add any box shadow. It's up to you if you want to, anything like that. For me, I'm just going to leave it as it is for the moment. The only thing I will do is just add a little animation. And I'll get it to fade in. Down to the bottom, Design tab, Animation. I'm going to say Fade. I'm going to have it delayed by half a second or so, which will be 500 milliseconds. So when you scroll down, it doesn't actually fade in for about half a second. There we go. So that's that little bit set. Now then, let's actually start working on our blurb modules. So I want to add another row. Again, I want to use the green one. And I'm going to have four of them in there. So I'm going to choose to have four columns in the row, this one right here. Now let's add our first blurb. And what we're going to do is we'll work on the first blurb till we have it how we want it. And then we'll sort of just copy it over and, and change some of the settings here. Okay. As you can see, it loads in a default image, title, and a bit of content. I'm probably going to use the dummy content because I really have no real content. I can't remember what I said in the other one. We have you covered. Okay. So let's use that as a title. Of course, you're going to have your own. I want to use 
an icon rather than an image. So if we scroll down just a little bit, well, before we move on to the icon, I think that's too much text for me. So let's chop this off about here. That's fine. Move on down. There's the image and icon. And I want to use an icon. It's fine. And here's all the elegant themes icons that come bundled with it. I think I used a little check mark before. There it is right there. Let's use that little check mark. That's fine. So we've got our little icon, we've got our title, we've got our content there. Let's pop over to the design tab. I think we're we're done really on this one. If you want to give it a label, blurb one. And you don't really see this on the front end here, but if you have to go into the back end, I'll just save that and show you. We'll hit this purple button down here. If you have a lot of modules, and they're all the same, if you give them an admin label, it's much easier to find stuff. And for, for a big website, when you've got a lot going on, that's really handy. Let's go back to our desktop view, back down to where we were working. OK, let's go back in there and let's start styling this. Let's go to the design tab. OK, text. I think I want all my text centered, kind of like we did before with the uh, slider up there. That's fine. Text color. I'll leave that as it is. That's fine. I don't want any text shadow. It kind of makes things a little blurry looking to me on smaller text like that. OK, the title text. What do I want to do with that? Well, I might use that Roboto font before. I don't think I actually, I mean, Roboto font again. I don't think I actually used it on the last one, but why not? Let's, let's make that. There we go. And let's make it uh, capitalized. And we'll make it our blue color just to keep keep things in line. And I want it a bit wider. So let's make it semi-bold or bold, I guess. That's fine. OK, let's move on down. Don't want to change letter spa spacing or line height on this particular one. Body text, I'm going to leave that just as it is. You can do the same thing. Choose your font, make it bolder, or bigger, smaller. Sizing, now this is quite important. The reason is I'm going to have four of these and I'm going to have different amount, amounts of text in each of them, but I want them all to be the same height. So let's go into sizing. I'm going to go down to minimum height and I'm going to put in, well, guessing one, two, three, and a bit for for effect. So I'm going to put in 320. You can always adjust it at a later date. So we're in minimum height. You can either use a slider or type it in 320. It'll automatically put in the pics for you. And that's actually made that 320 high. And if we do that for all of them, different amounts of text, they'll, they'll all look the same. OK, let's shut that one up. Image and icon. Right, what do I want to do? Let's make icon color. We'll leave that as white. So it disappeared there. I'm going to circle the icon. That puts a circle behind it. And well, I kind of like to use the blue, but everything else is blue. So we're going to use just a different color. I'm going to make the orange because on a color wheel, orange is actually the opposite of blue. So we'll use that. <laughs> That's fine. Now then, I want to give this just a little bit of box shadow and a little border on the bottom. And then we might have to adjust our padding because these things are going to be popped up against the top and sides. So let's go down a little bit more. And I'm going to put a border on the bottom first. So you've got all of them, top, right, bottom. Or <laughs> yeah, right, bottom and left. I just want the bottom one. I'm going to make it about two picks. I'm just going to left click on the arrow, take it up to two, and I'm going to make it blue. Just like that. Now that doesn't look very interesting, but I'm going to add a little bit of box shadow, and that actually makes it stand out quite nicely. I think I used this one. Yeah. To me, that kind of stands out quite nicely. But what we've got going on here, we've got to, the icons pushed up against the top. Can't really see that because it's white on white, which is fine. And 
this is a little close to the sides there our body text so let's go up to our spacing and we'll just give it a little bit of padding I don't want to give it too much we'll try 20 that might be too much we'll see I think that's fine and let's try it on the left and right too that might squish that in we'll see no that's absolutely fine I'm happy with that okay well I mean that's kind of looking right what I had going on here on this one was when you hover over it it sort of grows a little bit and the icon changes color so let's do that that's again really easy to do with the Divi so we'll shut up our spacing and let's go down to transform here's transform and we'll be covering all of these in future videos the first one I'm going to use is just this transform scale and what that means is transform is you can make it bigger or smaller now what we want to do is go to the hover state if you don't see it there just hover over the transform go to the little arrow and you'll see desktop and hover some people have got confused and asking well okay so that says desktop what about tablet and mobile all that means is regular state it doesn't mean necessarily on the desktop it'll mean same on a laptop and a phone but when we hover I want it to grow and if we just scroll down a little in fact I can make that a bit bigger as long as you've got this little chain checked there and it's blue you can adjust one of these and it'll do both of them and I want to increase it by perhaps 25% on hover so let's just pull this up to 125 too far there just use a little arrow to fine-tune it yeah and as you can see it's a lot bigger there so if I go back to desktop small hover is big but if I increase it more let's see what it looks like now when it goes over a solid blue or something like that it's see-through so what we need to do is put a background in there so let's drop this down to 25 again that's fine and I also want that icon to change so let's go back to our design we're going to go to image and icon circle icon here's our circle icon color right here and again if you hover where it says circle color there go to the little arrow and it's orange on the regular state we hit the hover let's make it blue so that will change now desktop hover there we go all right and what else did we want to do we wanted to put a background color in there so that if it did overlap with anything else it's still going to have that white background so back to content background funnily enough and <laughs> let's just put a white background in there so that's going to work fine now so there's our first little blurb and it's going to animate when we exit the visual builder so all I'm going to do is clone it and move on to the next one and I'm just going to do the next one the others I'll just pause and do quickly for you no point me repeating myself but I'll do this first one here hit the little two squares to clone it drag it over to where you want it doesn't make, doesn't matter which one you drag they're both exactly the same let's go in this one and I can't remember what I put state-of-the-art tools okay because we capitalize everything you can do all this in lowercase if you want to that's fine now if I take a bit of that writing away here just so you probably have different amounts of content for your little blurbs you can see because we set the height it's remained the same height as the other one which means it'll be nice and uniform when we're finished so I'm just going to change the icon image and icon still on the content tab and I think I had some little tools there we go some little wrenches and screwdrivers and things okay I'm going to save that I'm going to pause I'm just going to do the next two completely the same 
Okay, I've added the other two there. There we go. And just change the icon. Different amounts of text, like we said before, but they've remained the same height because we set a minimum height for that. So let's just finish off by adding a little animation to these when they pop in. So let's go into the first one. Design. Pop down at animation. And let's have it slide in from the left, I guess. Animation direction left that's fine I'm gonna have no delay on this one I'm gonna have a bit of delay as we go along so one pops in next one next one next one so let's save that pop into the next one I guess I'll have this one going up again design animation slide and I want it to go up slide from the bottom upwards there we go just like that Delay, I'm going to give it a delay of 200 milliseconds. So it's going to start 200 milliseconds after the one before it. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'll give it a delay of 400. Design. Animation. Slide. I want it to go up. And I'm going to give it a delay of 400 you can change the time that actually takes to do the animation by sliding this but a second a thousand milliseconds works for me intensity that's how intense it is obviously just play with it and you'll get some crazy effects uh, starting opacity well it's starting at zero which is totally see-through so it sort of fades in then slides up that's fine animation speed curves Ease in, ease out means it'll sort of ease in and then ease back out again, just like it says. Play with these to get some great effects. But uh, I'm just going to set this one to 400. There we go. And the last one, I guess I'll have this slide in from the right. Design. Animation. Slide from the right. Or I guess it'd be to the left there we go fantastic and last one was four so let's make this one six and i think i made that one fade in with a delay of 500 so it should sort of all sort of pull together so i think that's it pretty much there looks good to me so let's save it here let's save it here exit the visual builder let's go down and see what we've got yeah I think that works fine let's just refresh yeah that's fine and when we hover over icon should change color and it should grow by 25 percent there we go so that is how to do an animated blurb module using the Divi theme I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please like share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.